So if you're listening to this and watching this, I always wanted to have uh, most interviews be in person, um, but this seemed to be kind of flawless and awesome. So if you live, um, obviously not many people live in Bangor, Maine, so that's the majority of you out there listening, uh, just shoot me an email and we'll do a, a, a remote one like this. I think that's kind of the way things have gone anyway because of um, coronavirus and the world of Zoom meetings and all that stuff. Um, so I think this is cool. Do you, you like it? It was super easy and functional. Yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's obviously, and this is, by the way, this is an, an ad for Riverside. I'm not associated with them at all, but um, so far it seems pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I obviously would like to interview people in person. That's the preferred way, but um, I'm not going to be doing too much traveling anytime soon. And I don't assume many people are coming to good old Bangtown. Um, I, I love talking to Chris. I think it's cool to um, talk to random people people that are our friends first to, to get this going yeah um till we find our comfort zone and and uh i just i think it's cool i just like sitting and talking to people like, Chris, she's got a lot of stuff going on she's like very eclectic so um it was fun talking about like her business reclaimed by chris lovely yeah and just like her journey of sobriety that it, you know you can go and, from drinking one day to being yeah. really done and sober the next yeah so shout out to her for that and it's cool Amazing. that thank you chris for being honest and being willing to talk on a podcast um about that because it's a I think for people say there's somebody sitting out there right now who is considering getting into woodworking but has been drinking and, and wasting their life away on that or any other, other drug um it can be beneficial for people to hear you talk about how great you are now right but I think sometimes people benefit more from hearing how you got there and they can relate to that more success um, stories yeah yeah because it, it nobody needs I don't need to hear why Beyonce is the best singer I need to hear how she struggled to get there and that's how I think people learn and, and gain from that. So thank you, Chris, for uh, being able to talk about that publicly. Um, no shame to people that don't talk about it publicly. I, I'm happy for anybody doing it, but it takes a lot of guts to do that. Um, and, yeah, I think that's it. I, I think, think that's we'll, a wrap. Yeah, I think it is. I, we don't. We might have uh, – I'll do a little teaser. I think um, my friend Orson Horkler, who I used to do carpentry with, he actually was the one that trained me in carpentry. He's an artist and musician living um, down in Portland, Maine. I believe he's going to be our next guest. So – Stay tuned, everyone. Stay talk, tuned. Talk to y'all later. Have a Goodbye. wonderful day. Peace Adi out. Adios. Boop.